Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 22 through 29, where it is written. The next day the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. And they said to him, well, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, the work of God is to believe one, the one whom he has sent, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is unique. He is not a prophet. He's not a proxy. He's not some person God anointed with a mission. He is, in fact, God. God became flesh. That's Jesus Christ. No other prophet, nor other religious leader in history ever can make that claim but our Lord himself. God is directing this personally. Well, what about all those other religious leaders and prophets and so on? Well, there have been some, uh, humanly speaking, very great human beings. They've said some profound things about what it's like to be human and ethics and so on. Powerful people, profound things. No one's arguing that. But Jesus Christ is the Almighty God. But Jesus Christ, you're not hearing things secondhand. You're hearing it from God himself. So no disrespect intended to the other religious leaders or prophets that have come and gone. But Jesus is greater than them. Jesus, you get it how it is. Because those other religious leaders or prophets, they gave you their opinion. And look, everyone can have their opinion. They gave you their opinion. People have been known to have been wrong. People have been mistaken through no fault of their own. Not so with Jesus Christ. He tells you how it is. When he says, you're forgiven, you're forgiven. When he says, you are mine, you are his. No opinion, no misunderstanding, just God saying it. And because it's God, it is so. So it says, the work is to believe the one whom he has sent, Jesus Christ. When we put our faith in him, we are doing the work of God. Now, having faith in him isn't just head knowledge. It's knowing it and living your life in accordance to it. It's faith working through love. That is the saving faith that only Jesus Christ can bring. So, he is God. And now to forgive us our sins, he rose again to give us eternal life. And now we join him in what he's doing. That's the gospel, simply as I can put it. Amen. Let us close with prayer. Lord, we pray for everyone, for the rich and famous where money and fame has become a curse. For the poor and destitute, people are struggling to get by. Lord, for everyday people, Lord, be with us all. Forgive us our sins, enlighten us by your Holy Spirit, and call us home to communion with you. Amen.